Hello and welcome back. Um, I wanted to make a quick video to kind of go along with the blog post that I was going to put together for this week. And um, I thought it would be useful to show you guys real quick uh, the Nouveau Shimmer, Shimmer Powders. This isn't a comprehensive video about them, but just a quick um, look at what they do, how I use them. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've noticed that I'm obsessed with them. That I love making watercolor backgrounds with them. So I wanted to show you a quick look at the Nouveau powders, the Nouveau Shimmer powders, but also Brusho, which um, has been around for a while, but um, it's new to me. I just got, um, a friend of mine just sent me this package in the mail. And Brusho is very similar to Nouveau Shimmer powders. Nouveau Shimmer powders have are new, the brush has been around a while longer, um, but it's the same principle. I think the big difference is that the Nouveau Shimmer Powders have a ton of shimmer in them. Brusho, this collection, does not have any shimmer in them. I, again, I'm not an expert at all. I just really like this technique. I love it. I'm in love with it. I use it all the time. And so um, I thought I'd show you real quick how I do it. And also just, you know, so you could see the properties of the different options out there, at least these two. So I'm going to start with the Nouveau powder. Now, uh, the Nouveau shimmer powders, they come in two different types. You have, um, there are shimmer powders that are multicolored, like the Violet Brocade here. Um, when you just tap the powder out and you don't try to mix it up, you get a lot of different colors. Uh, there's some blues and pinks. This is the um, this is the property of these powders that I absolutely love. And then it's the same with the Catherine wheel. So this one is really pretty. It's pinks and yellows, and it kind of comes out with like an orangey paint, but there's a lot of shimmer in there too. And then of course you have uh, Cherry Bomb, which is what I'm gonna show you guys today. Well, actually, I think I'll, I'll show you guys Catherine Wheel, but I do have a piece with um, the Cherry Bomb on it. And see, that's just a solid color. You don't have a range of colors. You just have that one solid pink color. So the Nouveau powders come in, in that variety. You either can get um, a mixture that has multiple colors, like um, that's Catherine Wheel. Storm Cloud is kind of, it's just gray, but sometimes I see a little bit of blue in it maybe a little yellow, but for the most part, it's gray. Again, the Violet Brocade, which has the blues and the pinks, which come out to a really pretty purple color when you mix it. Um, this is the Blue Burst, which is just blue, but it's a gorgeous blue color. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, let's see. You have Atlantis Burst, which is a green that has blues and yellows in it if you don't mix it up very well, which I love that. You have Green Parade, which is the same, only the different colors are more substantial in this one. Um, they stand out a lot more. And then you have the Catherine Wheel, which we talked about, and then the Cherry Bomb. So real quick, let me show you. Uh, I just made this panel, the Cherry Bomb. There's actually not a lot. Oh, there's some shimmer in there. Um, I made this. I'm going to make a card for my niece for her baby shower, and I thought this would be a perfect background for that. The shimmer is most concentrated where the color is concentrated. So, um, and it's still a little wet, so it's really hard to see here. Let's switch gears for a second and talk about the brusho. So like I said, this is really new to me. This has a pack of 12 colors. Um, no, the color, colors are on the bottle, the different bottles. Let me show you one of them. So these, um, there's a lot of color concentrated in this powder. So rather than pop the lid off and have powder go everywhere, people generally just poke a little hole in the top and then they can shake the powder out and, and concentrate in little um, doses, which is, that's the method to use for the uh, technique that I like to use because I just want a little bit of powder to come out at a time. But there are there are a lot more colors in Brusho right now. And from what I could tell, it was the same um, I did a swatch here. This is kind of big for the camera, but, um, 
these have multiple colors as well that will mix up but then again there may have been some residual powder on the outside of these bottles when i did this but like this is the scarlet and then they have like a regular red the leaf green and then there's emerald there's a purple ultramarine and turquoise which i am absolutely in love with as well um, I just recently made a bunch of Christmas cards using, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm way off camera. Um, a bunch of Christmas cards using the new My Favorite Things card um, kit for September, October. Uh, but it was a joy kit. And so I made a bunch of cards and I used the turquoise and I used the scarlet on that for those backgrounds, which um, I think may have already been, oh, it's gonna be a part of the blog post that I have featuring Brusho. So um, you'll see those two colors on those backgrounds. So let me show you how I use these. I'm gonna start out with, um, with the shimmer powder and I probably already have some powder on here from the box of Brusho, it looks like. I'm gonna flip it over. So this is how I do, this is how I create these backgrounds. And I'm gonna use Catherine well because it's really pretty. So I take the, the lid off the bottle and you see it's got a little tiny nozzle here. And first of all, I see if I can get any to come out of the cap, which sometimes you can, sometimes it doesn't work. And this is dry. I haven't put any water on this yet. And I'm just going to lightly tap this bottle. You can see the little granulars coming out, the little pieces of powder. I try to avoid these big piles, but you kind of can't, you can't help it. Um, so you'll, I'll show you what I do with those. Okay, so that's kind of a little bit more than I normally use. And then I spray it with water, but I go way up. Like right now, my water bottle is probably a foot above this and I have it on mist and then I spray. And then I just, slowly spray until I start to get the effect that I want. There it goes. So that's what I'm trying to achieve. I want the color to kind of stay separated and to not move too much on the paper. And then, yikes, see, that's a little bit too much for me. And then what I do is I gotta clean my brush real quick. Is I come in here and I try to break up the clots, like the concentrated powder. I try to break those up a little bit without moving things too much. Like I don't want a solid painted background, but if you leave those um, powder clumps without really getting them wet, they can wipe off the card. So I just try to you know, get them a little wet and get them moving. And then you can let it dry as it is, or you can take a heat gun to it and dry it. And I tend to use the heat gun because I'm impatient, but either way, it's up to you. Since I don't wanna kill you guys with the heat gun noise, I'm gonna set it aside. The other thing is, if you feel like the color is too much, like you have too much color in one spot, you can use a paper towel to blot it as well. Um, that's another option. So that was the shimmer powder. Now I wanna show you the, the brush show real quick and how I do, what I do with that. And I'm gonna take the same, the ultramarine color. This is the color that I use for a lot of my Christmas cards. Um, Sorry, ultramarine. I basically do the same thing. It has a hole punched in it with a, um, a push pin. Um, so I just, same thing, lightly tap it to get the color out. Of course, because this hole is smaller, it comes out more slowly and, you know, in less concentrated clumps. Um, both of these examples were were done with with uh, Ranger Distress watercolor paper. 
actually, I don't know that this is Distress Watercolor. This is Ranger Watercolor. The other one was the Distress Watercolor. I like using this watercolor paper because it's so bright white. Um, it doesn't have like a yellow or like an off-white undertone. So um, I picked this up from Jennifer McGuire. All right, so now I have a good uh, concentration of the powder. And then again, I'm gonna go up really high, like the water bottle is pretty much right next to my phone. And I'm gonna spray this. See how you get the different, the blues and the purples? Now, um, you could mix this together to get a solid color, and I'm gonna show you that with the shimmer powders in a second on a palette, but I like the fact that you can get the look of different colors from one bottle. Like, I really like that. I don't have to pull out three bottles and shake them and be careful that I'm getting a good, you know, mixture of the different colors all over the place. I like that you can do this with one, one product. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. And then I wanna show you real quick how you can mix these to get a solid color on a palette. All right, so um, next I'm gonna show you how you can mix these up to get a solid color. And I'm gonna use this since we've already painted on it. So it's really, really simple. This is the Nouveau Shimmer Powder. This is one of the ones with multicolors. So we're gonna take the Catherine wheel. You just put a little bit in the bowl Add water and I mean normally I don't use a spray bottle but it's right here and then just mix it up this is really diluted actually so it's not going to be really strong color and but then you have a nice shimmery watercolor and of course if you want to make it more concentrated like I did on my swatches here's the Catherine wheel um, just add more powder to get it a darker color or I mean more vibrant, and it's the same with the with the brush out. Let me get the ultramarine out since we've been playing with that. I'm terrified to open this canister, so we're just gonna do it this way. All right, and then I'm gonna use my mini mister since less water comes out. That's good. I'm also going to get a clean paintbrush here. Oh wow, that's super pretty. And so this is the ultramarine. Actually, it was the turquoise that I did a lot of my Christmas cards with, but that's a really pretty color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it's really, really vibrant, pretty thick. So that's how you can turn these into, into just a straight watercolor and paint with them. Um, I have painted a little bit with the shimmer powders, the Nouveau Shimmer powders, but I have a lot of handmade watercolor paints that have shimmer in them, mica paints. Um, let me just show you. This is my collection of handmade mica paints. I'm gonna go this way. Um, and these have a ton of shimmer in them and I have a pretty good color range. So um, if I wanna paint with something with shimmer, I tend to use these. Um, I mean, I don't have a green, so I would go with the green um, Nouveau powder if I needed the shimmer powders are another great option the brush shows you can paint with those as well They just don't have the shimmer in them So that's kind of a sneak peek at my obsession the watercolor background obsession that I have um, And that's how I make them. So if you have any questions Let me know in the comments below if you want to see something different also let me know in the comments below and uh, Check out my blog post. I'm sharing cards that I made using the my favorite things joy kit and of course i don't have any here they're all upstairs um actually here's a card that will be in that post it's not just going to be it's going to be cards i made with the these backgrounds so here's one using the clearly besotted magnificent mag magnolias a set which was part of the stamp timber exclusive release and this one i uh, did some no line coloring with polychromos pencils um, in the background here, this is the um, ultramarine uh, brush oil paint. So uh, that will be featured in the blog post videos up. So you should, you should be able to, um, the link will be down below. But go check it out and you can see the different cards that I made recently with this style. But also recommend going to my Instagram because I use this background technique all the time. And you'll be able to see a lot of different ways that you can use it. Uh, 
If you have any questions, like I said, let me know in the comments below and thanks for stopping by.